Hi, I'm Rachel from My Better Mortgage. Welcome to this week's edition of No Fluff Friday. Today, we're coming at you with standard charge terms. So you bought a house or you're refinancing your house and you've done the signing with your mortgage broker and they've likely touched on standard charge terms, probably given you a brief description and then you end up at the lawyer's office and there it is again. What? So you think you own your house and you think you can do whatever it is that you want there. However, if you have a mortgage, that is so not accurate. So your standard charge terms, here's the deal. If you are at least 15 days late on your mortgage payment, the lender can serve you with paperwork letting you know that they're processing a power of sale. And you can get that paperwork as early as 35 days after you've missed your payment. It's really not something to mess around with. House insurance, you can't cancel that. I know it seems like insurance should be something that's optional, but house insurance when you have a mortgage is absolutely mandatory. Not only that, but you're obligated to repair and maintain that property inside and out. You can't let it be dilapidated. You don't have the option to not repair something when it's broken because technically the bank still owns that property. Uh, speaking of renovations, you're actually supposed to ask the bank or your mortgage lender for permission before you complete any renovations. I don't know anyone who's actually done that, but technically, according to the standard charge terms, that's a thing. Property taxes. According to the standard charge terms, you must pay those. I've had clients in the past that have missed taxes. They've come in and been one, two, even three years behind. The standard charge term says that if you're behind on your taxes, your lender can call your mortgage. Not really something you wanna be messing around with. Um, also, you can't change the use of your home. If you have a residential property, it's a residential property. If it's a single family dwelling, you can't change that into a duplex without consent. You also can't convert it into a commercial space. Something to consider when you're looking at a property. Okay, so let's go back to the use of your home for like two seconds. Canada is legalizing marijuana. And yes, you can be licensed to grow it at home. So where does that leave you in, in accordance with the standard charge terms? Well, they say that you cannot have a grow up at home. So here's the thing. If you're licensed to grow, you can do so, so long as you don't change the wiring within the house. That way, you're okay on both sides. So while we're on topic, you can do repairs and additions to your property. You are supposed to ask for permission first. The one thing that you can't do is you cannot demo your house. So do not take your house down to raw land. That is an absolute no-no. That concludes this week's edition of No Fluff Friday. If you have any questions, just give us a call. 705-300-SAVE. See you next week.